Well, nicotine is an addiction because nicotine, respectively smoking, um, with the compound nicotine, is a highly addictive compound. And um, it has about the potential of heroin. So it needs only a few cigarettes to get addicted to nicotine. This is what makes it really dangerous. And as it is so highly addictive, it's very hard to get rid of this addiction again. Well, nicotine affects the brain as all addictive substances do. It affects the reward system. Um, it enhances your cognition for a short time. This is why people use it if they are um, sitting at their desk and um, have problems to work and they smoke a cigarette. For a very short time, it enhances your cognition. So, um, in a way, they profit from smoking, but it is very clear that the adverse effects um, of um, smoking of nicotine, and not only the nicotine itself, um, but the substances which uh, are in cigarettes um, are do a lot of damage to your physical health. And there are millions of deaths um, due to smoking. Nicotine does not only affect your mental health, it is, as I said, it also affects your physical health. There are many carcinogens in, in cigarettes and in some or the other way they affect uh, your physical health. Uh, one of the biggest risks is lung cancer, which almost everybody knows, but it also has a high risk concerning cardiovascular diseases. So these are the most prominent, but not the only ones. I mean, it um, deteriorates, for example, diabetes and other physical um, uh, disorders as well. So there are very good reasons to stop smoking. If you withdraw people from nicotine, the first days um, of the withdrawal um, symptoms um, are not very nice to have. Um, but it only takes a few days to overcome the physical dependence. What is much more difficult is to overcome the psycholog psychological dependence on nicotine because we develop behavioral patterns uh, with nicotine, with smoking. Um, we have certain times and hours when we smoke and it's very difficult to give this up because this is always uh, associated uh, with, with the reward system. You know, like drinking coffee and smoking a cigarette, having a meal and after the meal having uh, a cigarette, having a cigarette after sex, having a cigarette here and there, whatever you do, and it's very, very difficult to give up um, these behavioral patterns, and this takes quite a long time to do so. Our approach to treat nicotine addiction is a very holistic approach. Um, we help people to overcome the withdrawal symptoms during the first days. And this we do in a combination of BioR, which um, equals imbalance, imbalances uh, in biochemistry, for example. We use eventually some kind of medication which helps you to overcome uh, the withdrawal symptoms. Uh, and we're using exercise and training because it is very um, clear that people have to develop other behavioral patterns um, and not always to come back to, 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 to smoking. So uh, this combination, this holistic approach gives a chance to our clients to to find a new way um, to overcome problems in their life, even if these problems are minor, you know, but to overcome the situations where you always take a cigarette. 
And this is very important to learn and it takes long, not so much during the first weeks, but on the long run, um, not to smoke anymore. Well, the first steps um, take, only take a few weeks to do. Um, the treatment time in our practice lies between four, five, six weeks, etc. But we offer these clients uh, continuous care because there's always a risk of relapsing. And we need this continuous contact with our clients if they come in difficult situations, always that they can consult with us what to do and how to react.